Before she was rescued by Mr. Potts, Chitty was a beaten up racing car valued at 30 bob for scrap metal. At the Beverly Hills auction, she's expected to fetch well over a million pounds. And that's truly scrumptious. Peter Bowes, BBC News, Los Angeles. <laughs> Uh, much more coming up in the one o'clock news in just a moment. Let's have a look at the weather prospects first, though. Here's Nick Miller. Nick. Hello. This weather pattern has legs. It's here to stay all the way through the weekend, and that's occasional dry and bright weather, but also showers. That's the case through this afternoon and catch a shower. It could be heavy, may even come with a rumble of thunder. Now, this is a look at the rainfall picture so far today. We started mainly dry, but with the temperature rising, the shower clouds built, and we've got these showers breaking out quite widely, including for southeast England, where we've avoided them for the past couple of days. Now, as I mentioned, there could be some heavy ones around Northern Ireland into Scotland, along the Murray and North Aberdeenshire areas, we could see some hefty downpours as well. Let's take a look at things at four o'clock this afternoon. Now, the showers are scattered about in Northern Ireland. It's not a constant rain, though. For some of us in the northwest of Scotland, those showers may merge to give some longer spells of rain and sharp showers, as I mentioned, Murray and North Aberdeenshire. We may just see the showers easing for a time across northwest England this afternoon. A few will continue to the east of the Pennines, some moving through the Midlands into East Anglia, though here they're very few and far between. We already had one or two across the southeast, and it's harder to get that that temperature above 20 compared with recent days may just scrape it somewhere, but it's a few degrees cooler than it was yesterday with more cloud around. Now, the showers tend to fade away as, as well for southwest England and Wales on through the afternoon, so more in the way of dry and bright weather, though the odd shower will continue, especially across western counties of Wales. And much of England and Wales becomes dry overnight. Showers continue, though, to north and northwest. In fact, another more organised band of showery rain pushing northeast across Scotland. And it may be a bit cooler by day, but also at night, almost across the board, those temperatures are now in single figures as we start the day on Thursday. Dry, bright start across much of the UK, away from those showers to the north and northwest. And they get going again widely across Scotland, some heavy and thundery, and also down this eastern side of England by the afternoon, northeast England into East Anglia. This is where the beefiest of the showers will be and temperatures sinking down a few degrees just 19 degrees in London most of us will fall well short of that and it's set to turn even cooler low pressure now establishing itself to the north of the UK so a west northwesterly flow across the UK now earlier in the week it was a southerly it was still quite mild but with that change of wind direction some cooler air begins to spread across the UK that will stay with us into the weekend that means the temperatures coming down a further few degrees and more showers in the forecast and in these showers it will feel rather cool. Hello? The police are on their way to you. Tell them nothing. What's happening, Andy? What did you see? Find that driver. Tell Andy to call me. Me and only me. The glass. There wasn't any. When they found you with that bullet in your head, you lowered your window too. The Shadow Line continues Thursday at 9 on BBC Two. cost of living is set to soar again as the Bank of England predicts inflation will probably hit 5% this year. The cost of energy is one major factor with predictions that our gas and electricity bills will rise by up to 15% this summer. One year old, 12 months into the coalition, who's celebrating and who's commiserating? The first big call was to enter into coalition government and it was the right one. On the spot fines for bad drivers as the government tries to make Britain's roads safer. 
and overpriced, overcrowded and lacking in quality, the Lonely Planet Guide's verdict on Taurus Britain. Later in sport on the BBC News Channel, Celtic must avoid defeat at Hearts if they're to remain in the race for the SPL title. They currently trail Rangers by four points. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. The Governor of the Bank of England says inflation will probably hit 5% later this year, putting extra pressure on households all over the UK. The bank also predicts a much bigger rise than expected for gas and electricity bills, with prices rising by up to 15% in the second half of this year. The squeeze on household budgets is also having a knock-on effect on the economy, which is predicted to grow more slowly than forecast. Our chief economics correspondent, Hugh Pym, reports. It's the official snapshot on the economy from a pillar of the financial establishment, the Bank of England, and it's gloomier than it was a few months ago. For households worried about soaring inflation, there was a stark message from the governor. It's going higher still, probably to 5%. Oil prices are 17% higher than we and the market thought they would be three months ago when we last met. That's a big, big change. It's going to have a big effect on inflation in the short run. People are now anticipating that there will be rises in utility prices in the summer and autumn. To that end, the bank anticipates that gas bills will rise by 15% and electricity by 10%. That'll put yet more pressure on consumer budgets. At the same time, the bank's revised down its growth projection for this year to below 2%, though in line with the Office for Budget Responsibilities forecast. There is no doubt that we are facing a period 